Shoot the front one. Shoot the front one. All right, guys, just finished up uh, with uh, the expansion test uh, here for the um, Super Aguila. Uh, sorry, Aguila Super Extra Subsonic Hollow Point. Um, it's a uh, 38 grain uh, subsonic 22 LR round. Um, <clears throat> subsonic meaning. Um, not breaking the sound barrier, not uh, being the opposite of supersonic. Uh, roughly, uh, I believe these are about 1150 FPS off the top of my head, but um, uh, I'll have to double check that one when I get back. Uh, anyway, this is the round on fired. This is what it looks like. Um, you know, not much of a of a hollow point, but um, you know, as you can see, going through the water jugs, uh, it did expand. Um, decently, um, you know, I'm, I'd be relatively impressed with a, with that if I were looking to use that on a, uh, you know, squirrel hunting or uh, you know, small any small game varmint. Um, I think 38 grains expanding um, to uh, looks like about a half an inch uh, is pretty good. Um, what it did is it went through the two uh, water jugs. Um, I should say it first went through a 12, uh, 12 liter uh, little bottle, um, standard drinking bottle, and I'm not sure if you can see this on video, but uh, pretty dramatic uh, entrance wound here um, on this side, as well as a uh, large slit from here to up here to here on the back side so it went through that first 12 liter obviously with no problem I didn't think it would have a problem um, then uh, next up was uh, the first gallon uh, first gallon water jug um, which if you can see that was the original entrance wound after coming out of the 12 liter um, exit wound is right here you can see that um, that looks like about a about an inch long uh, split there. Uh, then you've got the uh, entry wound on the final gallon. You can see that it actually looks just about like the uh, bullet does. Um, looks like it basically was going in sideways when it got to this third water jug. Um, and uh, relatively small uh, exit there. I was kind of surprised. I thought that would be a bigger one, but uh, I think it came out just just right enough to make a small small exit. And uh, the cardboard that you see in front of you uh, that was the that was where the bullet stopped. Uh, it actually only went through. I had a bunch of uh, the cardboard boxes behind the water jugs just in case it went any further and then you know my bullet trap behind that just to be triple safe but uh, it actually didn't get through the first uh, box here uh, I think the uh, bullet was so expanded uh, and was lacking so much energy at that point that it just uh, kind of stopped and broke flat against that uh, piece of cardboard there and um, you know not bad though for 22 round uh, you know, 38 grains at, uh, you know, let's say around 1150 uh, feet per second. Um, you know, pretty happy with that. Anyway, uh, don't think I'm missing anything, but I uh, did kind of want to show you. I had a couple other rounds that I had uh, put through the bullet trap, or I should say pulled out of the bullet trap when I uh, redid it. Um, some of them just uh, were uh, pieces that went through and hit maybe other bullets or... Uh, uh, the back of the trap even. Uh, the back of the trap is just steel, so, you know, going to get pretty good expansion from that. This one's really good, though. This one's a, um, this one's also the, uh, super, uh, subsonic, uh, super extra Aguila. 
and uh, that had some real good expansion. That's uh, I'd say that's coming up on almost an inch of lead there, 38 grain spread real wide. That would really hurt if that went into you, or uh, even maybe a you know something something the size of a raccoon or a skunk or a possum or something like that. I think that would definitely do the trick. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys uh, liked the video and uh, definitely subscribe and uh, feel free to rate it. Thanks. Uh, have a good one, guys.